Mr. Speaker, I take to the floor of the House today in opposition to H.R. 10, the so-called Financial Choice Act, which is more appropriately called the Wrongful Choice Act. Nearly a decade since the beginning of the financial crisis, my district is still dealing with the consequences of irresponsible, under-regulated financial institutions targeting toxic subprime loans to unsuspected borrowers. In Prince George's County, one quarter of all mortgages were subprime. Nationally, black homeowners were disproportionately affected by the foreclosure crisis, 80 percent more likely to lose their homes compared to other families with similar incomes and lifestyles. We later learned that several big banks had deliberately given people of color subprime mortgages. One such scandal-ridden bank, Wells Fargo, offered cash incentives for loan officers to peddle these what they called ghetto loans to who they called mud people. Uh, in other words, black customers, often single mothers. For families in my district, it wasn't just about losing your home. An entire generation of wealth was wiped out. The financial foundation for future generations collapsed and may never be rebuilt. Families can't start a family, save for college, or set aside for their own retirement. In the wake of the crisis, Democrats in Congress said never again. And we took needed action to ensure that this sort of abusive behavior would never be repeated. We passed the Dodd-Frank Wall Street Reform and Consumer Protection Act and created the Consumer Protection Bureau to protect American consumers from the types of practices that led to this crisis. Now, even as the big banks, the creators of the financial crisis, are making record profits, the Financial Choice Act would once again give Wall Street permission to swindle working families and destroy the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. This would be extremely harmful for hardworking Americans across the country. Since its founding, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau has been a powerful ally of the little guy. It's delivered nearly $12 billion in relief to more than 29 million consumers harmed by predatory lenders, big banks, abusive debt collectors, and outright scammers. Our nation's veterans and military families have been some of the major beneficiaries of the agency's work. The agency worked with state's attorney general to secure debt relief for 17,000 service members tricked into taking out high-cost loans. It ordered Navy Federal Credit Union to pay $28.5 million for using illegal debt collection practices, and it's suing Naviant, the nation's largest student loan company, for illegal practices against millions of borrowers, including severely injured veterans. The Bureau has also addressed the discriminatory practices that impact communities of color in the financial system head-on. The agency acted against Ally Bank, Honda and Toyota for charging higher interest rates for African Americans, Latino, and Asian borrowers, regardless of their credit scores. It strengthened protections for families who depend on prepaid debit cards for their wages and often fall into a spiral of debt from payday and auto title loans. And the Bureau continues to target banks who are denying loans to qualified borrowers of color across the country. Let's be clear, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is truly living up to its name. Mr. Speaker, nobody should want to return to a system that failed us and produced a financial crisis that damaged so many lives. Too many families and communities still carry the devastating scars of 2008. But that's exactly what the Financial Choice Act is trying to do. A rigged system is what led to the financial crisis, Big banks got bailouts and sweetheart deals, and ordinary people suffered. That's why I'm determined to oppose the Financial Choice Act, which seeks to roll back Wall Street reform and eliminate the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Voting against this bill is the right to, thing to do for my district, and it's the right thing for America. I yield back, Mr. Speaker.